Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ola Tadi Kombi and I'm back again with another video. Guys, happy new year. I know I've not said this a lot. I know I've not been here in a while. I know a lot of you guys miss me. I miss you guys too. Like, you guys are so sweet. Like, I get like the sweetest messages from Instagram, from YouTube. And you guys are always asking, Ola, what's up? When are you going to post our video? When are you going to... I love the fact that you guys actually enjoy what I do. And I feel like that's actually what keeps me going. Like, you guys enjoy what I'm doing. And... I love you guys as well. Like, it's the whole, you know, the whole vibes for me. Like, you guys are always giving me like, hey, hey, I like that. So guys, I'm actually good. I've been, I've been away for a while. Okay. And I'm actually back right now. This year is going to be our year of getting our deal. Okay. Whatever we want this year, actually, if you want to pull up to Canada for school, this is, is happening this year. Trust me, honey. If you want to come to Canada, to PR, it's actually happening this year. So I actually want to use this medium. So I try to tell you guys, I'm actually going to be helping you guys. Like, you know, we're going to be redoing this thing over and over again. I feel like I've actually done some videos and I feel like people should actually refer to it. But I feel like now I actually have like updated knowledge about those things. And I feel like I actually want to talk about them. Do you understand? So like today will actually be like a different time where we'll be talking about, um, PR. So basically, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to like, you know, calculate your CRS score. Do you understand? So I feel like a lot of people don't really know how to calculate this thing. And I think that's actually why I'm going to be showing you guys this thing today. Because I feel, what's the point of, um, what's the point of talking to you about something without, you know, without even helping you guys, um, go through it or something. So, um, okay, let me just talk to you guys. So basically, this is actually about permanent residence in Canada. If you're coming from outside of the country, I'm actually going to talk to you how you can calculate to see if you're actually eligible. Hey, <laughs> that English is that. If you're actually eligible. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ladies, what's the word? Think these girls can never help me. Damn, girl. If you're actually elig eligible. Eligible? It's eligible, but it's not sounding right. That's the problem. Uh, how come eligible? <laughs> eligible? Eligible is not sounding right? That's the problem. How come it's not sounding right today? But anyways, back to what I'm saying. Oh my God, I got this earring for my, for my mom. It's so pretty. But I just like the old. It's, it feels so good, guys. I didn't know this is how brown looks. Some people, you guys didn't tell me. But anyways, that's not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is we're going to be calculating our CRS score to see if we're actually eligible for a PR or permanent residence in Canada. So that's what we're going to be calculating because I feel a lot of people don't know how to do these things and we just say, oh, you're just going to go to the website and you're just going to do this, you're going to do that. I'm going to put the link down below so that you guys can actually go straight to it and just click on it. So we're just going to be doing this by ourselves, but I'll be using my own experience to actually judge. But instead of using, uh, Muslim, instead of using um, Canada experience. I'm gonna be using Nigeria experience. That's what we're gonna be doing today, okay? So basically, PR is just like you know you getting a permanent residence in Canada without you coming to Canada and how you do it outside of Canada. So we actually have different ways of you doing it. Just like this thing I'm actually showing you guys is actually like a tool that will actually help you guys, you know, that will help you guys determine if you're actually eligible to eligible. Oh God, you're actually eligible to come to Canada or not through PR, through permanent resident. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't tell, don't let anybody tell you, you can't come to Canada. Tell me, trust me, love, you can come to Canada through anyways. Don't take no for your answer. Don't take no for your answer. This say, honey, don't do it. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to screen record my laptop and I'm actually going to be putting it by the side and we're going to be talking and we're going to be doing the same thing. Um, you guys are going to go to Google. Okay. I think it's recording right now. Is it recording? Thank God. Guys, this was a lot. It was a lot to get to the stage. Guys, all these things I'm doing for you, pray for me because this is a lot of work, man. Let's go straight away. So basically, guys, um, just going to go to Google. Um, you press CRS tool. It's going to pop up. It's going to pop up like this. When it pops up, you're going to see straight to it. Comprehensive ranking system. That's it. That's it. That's your plug. Okay. So this is how you're going to do it. Just do exactly what I'm doing. Don't stress yourself, honey. Okay. You don't need so much stress in life. Okay. So this is it. So you're gonna check if you're actually eligible for the OPR, um, for the old express entry thing. Because when, once you do the old express entry thing and you have, you're actually eligible for the points, you're gonna enter a pool. Okay. I'm gonna explain everything to you guys later. Okay. Just listen to me. So let's just do this one first. You're gonna scroll down. Okay. You can see what he told you. Just read this thing for at your own leisure time. This says skill, education, language, eligibility, work experience, and other factors. That's what it's gonna show for you guys. Okay. So another thing is going to, so use these tools to find if you're actually eligible. See, if you're eligible for at least one year express program, one, sorry, one express program, that's what they say you should say. So you can click all these things to actually show you what you actually need to. See, if you click it, it's going to pop out. It's going to take you to other place and explain, oh, this is why this is da, da, da for you and everything like that. But because we know what we are doing exactly, we don't want to do all that. We're just going to check if you're actually eligible for, you know, for applying for a permanent resident in Canada and what we can do to actually make us eligible. So this is actually showing us how to be eligible and what we need to do to make us eligible. So that's why I'm actually here to help you guys to 
go through it because we're in this together, okay? Because I care about you guys. So this is what we're gonna do. They said, what's your marriage status? Where's the marital status? So if you're single, if you've never been married before, everything is all here. If you have been married, you're legally separated or whatever you're doing with your life, you know, honey. I'm gonna put it down here. So never been married before. I'm using my life situation, right? I've never been married before, of course. Yeah, I've never been married before. You have to be honest, okay? How old are you? Okay, I'm actually 26 years old. Eh, I can't even speak. I'm actually 26 years old right now. You're gonna put your age 26 years old. Yeah. Guys, it's actually better for you to do this thing before you clock 30. Because once you clock 30, they are gonna be giving you, you'll be they'll be removing extra five five points from your points. Okay, and that is not nice. Okay. So now we just finished doing the old 26 thing. We're gonna go down again. You know, what's the level of education? So um Canadian degree diploma, blah blah blah. This is not the right thing. That's what I'm saying. Let me see. Let me see if I put um bachelor's degree or something. It's gonna ask me more questions. Have you end? Okay, okay, okay. So the more you feel it, the more you feel it, the more it keeps going down. It's gonna be refreshing and be asking you other questions basically. So I put bachelor's degree. That's what I put for my guys. If you have a master's, it's perfect for you. Actually, have to, gonna have more points. If you have a small, if you have a PhD, it's gonna be perfect for you. Because if you look at those things, the more level, the more higher you go, the more points you get. So if you put a master's degree. Perfect. So people that do law, they literally just automatically have a master's degree. Good for them because when they told you to do law that year, you said no, you were not doing law. Oops. But anyways, um, if you have so much certificate, it's actually good for you because it's gonna give you more points as well. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you on that very soon. Good. So the next thing that is gonna happen right here is we're gonna talk about at the end is Canadian degree or diploma or certificate. This answer will be no, okay, because we are using our Nigerian experience radar. Because guess what? We've not been to Canada before, we don't know about anything about Canada. All right, this is our first time we're doing this. Okay, are your test results less than two years? So this is asking you for your IELTS. Guess just trust me, you guys are gonna do the IELTS when you're doing this. So they're asking you if your test result has been maybe like less than two years or more than two years. So you're gonna tell them, yeah. Good. So they will ask you, which English test did you take for your first language and all like that? So most time, everybody, most people take IELTS. Self-pip is for Canadian people. So if you're actually in Canada, you're actually allowed to do self-pip. But I don't think self-pip, I don't think they'll be doing self-pip outside of Canada because it's actually a Canadian English test and everything like that. So IELTS is actually something like similar to self-pip that is actually like, you know, universal. Like everybody's doing it. Like everybody knows it. They do it in Nigeria. They do it. Everywhere, guys. Tell everybody you want to do it. Tell everybody you want to do IELTS. They will get the code like, oh, this person want to travel out of the country or something. So IELTS it is, okay? So when you're doing your IELTS, the best thing they used to tell us, like, just make sure your marks are 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 down, okay? So that's exactly what we're going to do here. So we're going to do 8 points because we're very smart, okay, in speaking. Yeah, I'm good with English and all that. Speaking 8 points, yeah, that's on period. Listening, 8 points as well, yeah, because we're that good, okay? So I put listening at um 8.5. Okay, because they want you to do better. And that's what you're going to do, honey. You're going to do well. Good. So let me tell you my experience. Reading. Oh, your reading too has to be between 8 and 9 point. Okay, that's it again. And your writing has to be between 8 and 9 point, honey. Okay. So this thing is like a do or die affair. There's no point of you thinking about it twice. You're doing this and you're passing. Okay? Because guess what? You're pulling up to Canada real soon. So that's why you have to have all these marks. Okay? Okay. So after you finish doing this, you have to go to do you have other language result? This is where, this is where, this is the point we know if you can speak other language. And when I mean other language, like French. So they actually appreciate when people actually do French exam. It's, it's to give you more points, okay? So if you have a French certificate, you know, a French certificate or something, or if you don't have, you're going to put no applicable. You're going to put no applicable because most of us don't have French points. Because at this stage, we're just trying to know if we, if you have points, you know, in case... If you have points for us to apply, that's what we are doing right now. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is our knock. So they said, Are you sure you have a knock level? Blah 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 less than clinical clinical foreign experience that you work. In the last 10 years, how many work experience have you done in Canada? So because we're not using Canada work experience, you're gonna put none. Okay, none. Then it's gonna go to the next question for you. Okay, how many foreign skills have you had? So this is actually a very good one as well that will actually boost your mark. So when you have two years work experience, your mark is going to go low. If you have three years experience, your mark is going to go high. So today, because it's all that is doing this, and because I know like if I was in Nigeria, I'm going to have like three years work experience. I'm going to put three years work experience. experience there. So we're going to put three years work experience, guys. Yeah. And the next thing we're going to go again, we're going to do, they said, oh, do you have any certification of qualification from Canada province, territory, or federal body? That's not true. We don't have. So we're going to put, no, we don't have. Good. They will put, no, we don't have. 
and that's on period honey do you have a valid job offer supported by a labor blah, blah? this is all stories with that we don't have it so let's just put no okay don't let's stress ourselves no <sighs> The next question they ask is like, do you have any nomination, nomination certificates from a province or a territory? The answer is still no, girl. When you do, we're going to put yes. Okay, they said, do you have a sibling in Canada? So this is actually going to help you if you have like a relative in Canada or something. That's the question they're saying. Do you have, do you or your spouse or common law partner or um, if they will come with you to Canada, have at least one brother or sister living in Canada who is a citizen or a permanent resident? Because I have a brother that is actually on a PR. I'm going to put yeah, I do because that's the extra 15 point on its own. So if you have a relative in Canada already and um you know you want to apply for this, please use your family members. That's when you need family, okay? That's why family is family is the best, or how would we say all those things, okay? So I'm gonna put my I'm gonna say yes here, and because that's extra 15 points for that, okay? So now you guys have seen everything we've picked, okay? We can always go back to our score. So now we're gonna calculate what our score is to see if we're actually eligible to like go into the pool or not. Okay, see. See our man, guys. Look at what we are on. We are on four. We are on four hundred and fifty-six. That's what we are on. We are on four hundred and fifty-six. So basically, it's gonna show you everything you've done. You know, it's gonna show you everything you've done and everything you've done wrong. So you can see the age one hundred and ten. The education is one hundred and twenty. Official language is three hundred and sixteen. So that's why all these things you're seeing now. You see, like four hundred and four hundred and um thirty-six. That's the whole calculation thing. Okay. So fine. The way your mark is right now, if I am you, I'm just going to be in the pool, okay? I'm just going to be in the pool because I don't know when God is going to do his thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the way this thing works is like, okay, every two, two weeks, Canada government used to bring a new score out. So everybody that have actually submitted their, you know, document that they've been in that pool for a while and they actually call their score, they're going to invite them to apply. That's the way it works with that, okay? That's the way it works. So basically, the way I'm actually on 456 right now, I can just submit my point and be like okay this is what i have let me just submit okay i can just submit but if i feel it's too low and I, I cannot be working towards it to actually get more point that's the way it works so because you can always update your document on your express entry document here. do you understand what i'm saying so now you have four, you have 456 so i'm gonna show you we're gonna google our canada like what the what the was name? What the scores have been over the years? I think the, it was actually in twenty eighteen. One girl was telling, was it twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen? They said the least score they've got was four hundred and thirty, and that was like two years ago or something. They've actually not gone that low before in a long time. So right now we are on four fifty six. Now we know what our point is. Okay, it's perfect. Okay. So CRS cut off. Cut off score for twenty twenty one. Yeah okay 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 um thank god january like it's so obvious i hope this thing is still screen recording um can so um let's see this code they pick let's see what they pick let's see pick. yeah 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 guys see what i'm saying like can you see what i'm saying so invited was issued inv invitation sorry invitation was issued to a total of 400 and 700 of 4,750 people. Remember, this number is not only from Nigeria, it's from all over the world. There's India, there's Chinese, there's a lot of people that is actually gonna be working, that's actually gonna be coming to the pool with this, okay? So look at the score they pick. The scores was four, um, 461, was enough to ensure an invitation to apply. So basically, let me tell you the way this works now. So everybody that actually submitted their document and they are 461, okay? Everybody that submitted that document and they were 461, guess what? Guess what? They will call them. And this is how it works. They will call people that have actually submitted earlier than people that submitted late. So if I am you, if you actually calculated your, CR, your, your CRS points and you feel like, okay, my point is actually good, even if it's not good, so that just open a express entry document and submit your points. Then you can start working towards on how you can get better because you don't know what God can do. They can just say, okay, we want a lower mark today. We want a higher mark tomorrow. But in the, in the, you just feel like you've submitted your point and it's there. So if you actually want to start working on getting a better English or getting French, I know you should know like, okay, my mark, has, my mark is already in the pool. Oh. So in case they call me, good for me. And in case they don't call me, I'm actually doing things already to make my points higher. So that's the way it works. Okay. So this is just me showing you guys how all this thing will work. So I feel anybody can do express entry. Don't feel you are too old for it or you are too young for it. In as much you have two years work experience, and even if it's one year work experience, your one year work experience you have, but maybe like your your um IELTS results was very good. 
you're good to go straight up. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if even if you have uh, maybe like two years work experience or but you have maybe like a master's degree, perfect. It's gonna boost your markup. So all these things I showed you, you can actually work with the numbers. You no, know? you can all go back and just work with the numbers and be like, okay, um, no, not this one, not this one. Okay, so guys, so basically what I'm actually trying to show you guys here is like, can you see the way the point is like 456 right now? You see the way the point is at 456? Good. So let's just imagine we have masters, oh, like as she masters, okay? We're just going to change it over here. You're allowed to change and just walk around the numbers. Let's say we did masters, like, you know, I went to school and I went for my degree and I also did masters and that's on period. Look at, look at what masters is going to do for us. So we're going to put masters and we're going to calculate what masters is going to do for us. Now we've calculated masters. Look at what masters did for us, guys. Master, <coughs> <coughs> guys. I'm happy to announce to you that masters just give us forty extra points. That's on period. That is it, guys. That is it. Masters just give us forty extra points. Do you understand what I'm saying? So with this point, with this four, with this four hundred and ninety-six points, nobody can talk to you anyhow. If you put your, if you put this point inside the pool right now. The next cut off, they're gonna call your name. There's no how. I'm so sorry to say, but they're gonna call you because there's no how they can do it. This is too much for them. Uh. They're not even asking for so much. This is too much for them. This point is over. Like this is a lot. This is a lot of point. So that's what I'm saying, guys. So you see the way it works right now because you have a sibling, sibling in Canada. You know, um, your IELTS was perfect. You have three years work experience. You had the master's degree. Perfect. So guys, let's just try and change it to like maybe okay. You, you have a degree, then you have a certificate, extra certificate, to like you know. Let's see what it's gonna change to. Um, let's just do two more certificates. Let's see what it's gonna give us. So we're just gonna calculate the score again to two more extra certificates. Let's see. Uh, wow, 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 wow! Nobody told us this, guys. Nobody told us this. So basically, you guys can say like this extra. Um, I think this is about thirty point. Yeah, I think this is about thirty point. So a master's degree will give you extra forty points and um a two certificate. So it's just like when you go to school for a degree program and you also went to school maybe for like a professional exam, you did a professional exam, or you have like this professional certificate or something that you can add up. That's the way it works. And remember, <laughs> for this to actually really work for Canada, do you understand? You need to have sent your document to waste. Okay, basically. West is going to evaluate your document for you. This is after you've actually checked if you're actually eligible. Do you understand? Like, oh, if I'm actually eligible for apply, you can do it before you're actually eligible or something, but just send your document to West. I'm going to put West down here. So West is actually like a, an evaluation system for Canada that just shows that the school you're coming from in Nigeria or the school you're coming from from any part of the world is actually equivalent to the results they are giving them in Nigeria. Like, it's equivalent to the certificates we're collecting in Canada, basically. So that's the way so. So West will actually evaluate these things for you, okay? West will do the job for you, sweetheart. Where's to actually make it look okay? So where's is gonna give you a document that will show like that will prove that oh this person's Nigerian degree, their Nigerian certificate is actually equivalent to our masters in Canada, or is equivalent to our degree in Canada as well. Do you understand? So um apart from West, we actually have I um IQAS that's actually a different um a different evaluation system as well in Canada that you're actually gonna send it to. And another thing again is um I think West is in Toronto, I think the IQAS is in how about her. She understand. So West takes like um they say it takes like seven weeks, okay? And IQA I IQAS take like four months. So it now depends on how much you wanna spread your wings with that. So if you wanna take more time, if you wanna like, you know, go through the easier with or something. You have to like know what you wanna do basically. So that's what I feel guys. So um I think that's everything I want to talk on. Guys, I didn't know this video is going to be this long. I'm just trying to show you what is really going on and how people are actually just check if they're actually eligible for, you know, for permanent residence or not. This is it. That's all. Like, there's no biggie. Like, this is it. Let me pause this video. Yep. Um, this is it. So there's no biggie. I hope you guys learned one or two things from this video. Um, I hope this video was very, very helpful for you guys. Don't forget to like the video. Um, Share with your friends that are actually, you know, trying to like come to Canada or something. Um, I feel I'm actually going to be doing other videos more on this channel. And I feel like a lot of people have been asking me questions about other things like how to get accommodation in Canada, how to do this, how to do that. I feel the next video you're going to be seeing after this will be accommodation in Canada. And I think I'm actually going to talk about it, um, more intense. And apart from that, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to get accommodation around as well okay apart from talking about it i feel like i'm actually gonna show you guys how to do go around it as well so i think this year we're actually not gonna be doing more of talking we're gonna be doing more of talking and action at the same time guys mind you if i'm actually gonna be doing that 
the video is gonna be taking long to come out because I have to be screen recording, recording this, recording this at the same time. So it's a lot of work, okay? I think that's everything I want to talk about, guys. Um, I hope you guys learned one or two things from this video. Um, if you like this video, share with your friends, and I'm gonna catch you guys in my next video, guys. Bye.